today I want to talk about HPV vaccine. Uh, a lot of patients ask uh, about this vaccination for themselves uh, or especially for the kids, uh, being boy or a girl. HPV vaccine is recommended uh, for uh, 11, 12 years old. Uh, it's for prevention of uh, certain HPV virus types. It does not protect against all HPV, which is about 100 different types. Uh, Gardasil, which is one of the brands, protects against uh, three or four of them, and there's another brand that protects against another three or four subtypes of uh, this virus. Uh, if you do get vaccinated, uh, the chance of getting those types is much, much lower, but that does not mean that you cannot get the other types. Uh, there is no protection against the other types of the HPV virus. Uh, HPV virus can be seen in men or women. Uh, in uh, both, it can cause uh, condyloma or genital warts. Uh, in a woman, it can cause precancerous cancer cells of cervix. Uh, in men, it can cause uh, testicular or penile cancers. And also in both men and women has been shown to be related to uh, throat uh, cancer. Uh, but uh, in general, which, uh, it's used mainly for protection against uh, cervical cancer. And those types that vaccine covers are more uh, uh, likely to cause uh, that kind of cancer. Uh, it's recommended up to 26 years old, uh, but you can also get it if you're older than that, but most likely you have already exposed to it because it's a very common virus. And in certain studies they have done in certain colleges, up to 80% of girls has been shown to be positive for this virus. The good news is, is that sometimes when you get exposed, it could uh, disappear by itself. Uh, and as long as you have your uh, annual checkups, uh, you should be uh, okay, uh, even if you're exposed to this virus.